Now, the dating app Tinder has changed the way people around the world meet. Forbes magazine named it the world's hottest app, and the Tinder website claims to have much 10 billion people. If it works for people, why not try, uh, try it for rhinos? Now, viewers Caroline Turner has more. Like many people using the Tinder dating app, Sudan the rhino loves the outdoors and travel. The catch? He's the world's last male white northern rhino, and he's desperately seeking a female to mate with. His profile tells it all. I don't mean to be too forward, but the fate of my species literally depends on me. I perform well under pressure. Conservationists are hoping that Sudan's Tinder profile will help them raise enough money for a $9 million fertility treatment. After all, attempts at getting him to mate naturally have failed. Rhinos weigh about two tons. Um, they're semi-wild, they're not domesticated. And in order to be able to do this, we have to develop techniques to remove uh, eggs, oocytes, from the two remaining females. We have to then mature those eggs which in itself is a very difficult thing to do for various reasons which I don't need to go into. Fertilize those eggs with stored semen. Luckily, there's quite a lot of stored northern white rhino semen around the world uh, in various zoos um, to create an embryo, successfully freeze and store that embryo, and then in time find a technique to reintroduce that embryo back into surrogate southern white rhino females because the two northern white rhino females are incapable of conceiving. All three white rhinos at Old Pajeta Conservancy are accompanied by 24-hour armed guards. A swipe on Sudan's Tinder profile, available in 190 countries and 40 languages, directs users to the Old Pajeta donation page. Just hours after he went online, the number of hits was so high that the website crashed. Carolyn Turner, VOA News, Washington.